Uh, what, how's the saying go? Don't judge a book by its cover. I 100% was judging this company. Now am I allowed to do what I'm about to do in the studio? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the vlog. By the way, hope you're doing well. Hope you had a great run today if you already ran. And uh, we're gonna get to that question of the day here in a minute. But this is the studio. Why is it called the studio? Because here we do running shoe reviews. First impressions, full reviews, you all know that. Lots of running shoes to test out. But every now and then, I'm just thinking out of the box here a little bit like, gosh, what else do we need as runners? Maybe a t-shirt, maybe a, pair, a couple pairs of shorts, good socks. Like every now and then there's some other pieces of gear that I do discover and I'm excited to share with all of you. But I'll also always argue as runners, like we don't need much as runners. We're simple people, right? Uh, but after 22 years of running, it's crazy. I started running in 1998. And when I did, over the last 22 years, when I discover those running shorts that I love, you know those running shorts, I, you probably have 10, maybe 15, maybe more pairs of running shorts in your drawers. And like when you find the ones that are comfortable and fit well, you always reach for those, right? I know I do, I have a lot of running shorts, but then there's like five that I'm like, okay, I'm going with these. And yes, I actually do have running shorts that I use for the mountains, that I use for long runs, that I use for race day, uh, because it, it, the more that I run over these, over these past 22 years, the more refined I get in my choice, uh, in my selection, for different pieces of outerwear. Same goes for t-shirts, same goes in the winter time for long sleeves, running gloves, etc., etc. So anyway, I'm excited to share with all of you these uh, this new company that I've discovered that frankly, uh, you, what how's the saying go? Don't judge a book by its cover. I 100% was judging this company by the cover. I had no idea. Um, well, first of all, people have been telling me that I got to test out this company's outerwear for probably the last six months. Like it just keeps coming up in different conversations on social media, in person. And I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Doesn't this company make, and I know this is, I, I apologize, but this is my, this was my perception that they made yoga gear, for ladies. And based on what I just said, down in the comments, type out what company comes to mind when I say ladies gear for yoga. Like what, what's the first company that jumps out at you? Type it down in the comments and hit, hit pause on the video if you have to, because I'm about to tell you the company that I have been testing out for all of you over the last, really last 10 days, all right? Here we go, drum roll please. This is the company that I am very, very excited about. Summer 2020 outerwear gear. Here we go, Lululemon, Lululemon. There it is. Here are the shorts that I am just falling in love with. We got the Surge Short 4-inch liner. Surge Short 4-inch liner. So this has a brief liner, okay? A little different, a brief liner inside this short. It's a 4-inch seam. Um, there you go. That is the first piece of gear that I that I ordered. And the second shorts, we got the fast and free short three inch. Fast and free short three inch. I'll come back to these in a minute. Next, I'm actually wearing it, the fast and free short sleeve. Okay, fast and free short sleeve. There's the name on the screen. And next, we got the surge warm half zip. There it is, there it is. And last but not least, went a little bit out on the uh, limb here during the summer months, but for training in the mountains during the summertime, it's chilly. If you get to the, if you get to 10,000 feet, you know, park your car and it's, you know, let's say 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m., it could be definitely upper 30s, low 40s. So chilly temperatures, 100%. So I ended up getting some gloves. These are the Resolute Runner Gloves from Lululemon, Resolute Runner Gloves, which I didn't even realize this when I ordered them, but they actually snap together just like that. So they, they hold together. Now let's break all these down. For the Surge Short 4-inch liner, I took a little bit of a risk here. Um, I am, as a runner, I like as much freedom to move my legs as possible. I'll put it out like I don't like any restrictions. So 
I'm probably going to use these shorts that have this brief liner more for easy days and then going to the gym, okay? So that's how I'm gonna use these shorts, just because I don't like having any sort of material on my quads and hamstrings, all right? Love the shorts, but it's not gonna be a tempo day or long run uh, short. It'll be an easy day and go to the gym short. Next stop, fast and free short three inch in graphite gray. Love, love, love these shorts. Maybe, it, these might end up being the shorts of the year. I love the fact that they put little holes in the back of the shorts to increase breathability, drop the weight of the shoe oh, a little no. bit. There are two, yes, two pockets here in the back of the shorts on the inside. Hopefully you can see that there on screen. They've got pockets for your gels, uh, but this is not like, this is not, a, I would say, like an ultra marathon type of short, but a good solid mountain running short that I'm using, I've been using it uh, for thus far. It's been doing so well. The band, beyond comfortable. I don't even know what to tell you. Like the band which wraps right around your waist, it's just, there's like no seams for rubbing. I don't even know. It's, it's absolutely, it's this, can you tell I'm excited? And also I think they put a lot of good thought into the drawstring. How many times have you had a drawstring that when you tie the drawstring, it's almost impossible to untie it? Like that, that happens a lot with other short running shorts that I own and I won't name I won't mention the the brands but um anyway so I, I think Lululemon put a lot of good thought into the drawstring a small detail but a significant detail like we even like when your hands are freezing in the winter time or it's like it's hard to un, when you get home or you get into your car and it's hard to untie the drawstring because your hands are so cold anyway good work there Lululemon and overall I'm lo I'm just loving 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 these shorts okay moving on and next this fast and free short sleeve i need to keep testing against another t-shirt that i have but this might go down as the most breathable uh t-shirt of 2020 there's one more inside that i'm testing it against but i love it it's something uh, now listen i'm a little guy so even small for me like i like i don't like my t-shirts to be too baggy uh so this t-shirt is maybe just a little long for me but overall good fit incredible breathability and uh, very soft to the touch, no issues at all. I like also a t-shirt that's not like crazy um, wide around the neck, like it's like drooping down too, too much. Um, so overall, very, very pleased with the short sleeve. Now I have also, even though it is the summertime, this Surge Warm Half Zip. There it is, Surge Warm Half Zip. Uh, when did I wear this? What was the run? Anyway, here's some footage on your screen when I was testing this out. It did great. Oh yeah, that was, it, it was Grays and Tories. I ended up taking it off halfway up because I was getting a little too warm. But then on top of the mountain, I put it back on because I was getting chilly. Work like a charm, um, and but here's the deal. It's July, so I need to test this out in cooler temperatures, let's say November, December timeframe. Overall, again, very comfortable. I almost forgot to mention, when True Love and I are making a purchase, we always ask ourselves three questions. Do we need it? Can we afford it? And will it last? I probably get the most excited about that third one. Why? Because if you make that investment up front in something that has, that has high build quality, meaning the materials are solid, it's put together well, whether it's, you know, whatever, the, whatever you're purchasing, it could be anything, a new kitchen table or a new car or a new lawnmower or new running gear. Remember what I'm saying about running shoes as I'm holding them in my hands? I can just tell, for example, I'll just say like this Saucony Power 13, like it is high, high, high build quality. Same goes for these running shorts, uh, this, this half zip, even this t-shirt, even though it's very lightweight, um, I can just tell by holding it in my hands that it is high, high build quality versus some of my other running shorts. I can tell like there's probably going to be a two or three year lifespan to those running shorts, shorts versus I have running shorts in my house right now that I have had for 10 years plus. I got, I literally bought them in college 10 years ago and I'm still running in them. Why? Because they have high build quality. I can sense that, oh, especially these shorts, that these are going to last a long, long time time all right so i get very very excited about build quality all right and last but not least i'm getting off track here the resolute runner gloves again it's summertime i did wear these though up on the mountain very comfortable let me just put one on real quick here 
one real quick here. Yes, oh, that's nice. I, You know what I like the most? Okay, first of all, you can use your smartphone with the glove on. That's very standard these days, but that's important in case you need to, I don't know, send a quick text message or check something, I don't know. So anyway, that, that is there on the glove. But also I like how the glove goes a little further down the wrist versus some other gloves that I have inside the house. So overall, very pleased thus far, and it's amazing. Like, I, even though I've been running for 22 years, I continue to test out and try to nail down different gloves for different temperatures, different, it's amazing, like, it's so often my hands overheat, in, especially in the winter time. So I will test these out for you again in November, December, December once the temperatures drop. Um, okay, I think that wraps it up for the Lululemon. <laughs> Don't judge a book by its cover. I'm telling you everybody, I am bullish. If you do wanna pick one of these items up, it is available down below. Uh, but here we go, Surge Short, uh, what is it? Surge Short four inch liner. We've got the fast and the fast and free short three inch the surge warm half zip and yes the resolute runner gloves oh build quality build quality but question of the day here we go i i am so excited to read your answers here we go question of the day what is your go-to running shorts okay and why oh if you could explain like why you, cause I, there's a lot of running shorts to choose from out there on the marketplace. And I know we're not talking about running shoes. That's more my specialty, but running shorts are critical. Like having the right comfort, the right weight, the right breathability, uh, the right cut. Oh my goodness, I could go on and on. So let us know what is your favorite running shorts and why, or shorts and why. Oh, you guys are the best. Thanks for being here in the studio. And uh, thanks for sharing your opinions down in the comments. All right, everyone. I don't even know what to toss it back to because I, I haven't done a ton of outerwear. I'll find a I'll find a general running gear vlog. I, I know which one. I just thought of one. A running gear vlog from earlier in 2020. Right there, right there, right there. Onward and upward. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.